Welcome to the third quarterfinal match of the WFTDA Championship of 2011. I am Bryant Mumble, and I am joined by John Maddening. And hello, ladies and gentlemen. Kansas City taking the track here, being introduced to the fans. Let's go through the uh, let's go through these, these rosters before we begin here. Kansas City is going to have number zero Eclipse. One 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 is Annie Mall. Twenty twelve is Evolution. Two forty four is Bruise Her. Twenty six is Bella Fire. 30, Paul Balls. 34, Case Closed. Number four is Young. Kelly Young. Number 44, Damsel of Detention. Number five, Trauma. Number 50, 59, Archie Lee. 69, Track Rat. 816, Jade Lightning. And 84 is Tough Nookies. Now they are going to be bench coached by Extremely Frank and Just Jim. And on the Windy City Roller side of things, you're going to see the captains, Jackie Daniels, number seven, and captain number 17, Old Dirty Gogo. -Go. They will be joined by number 19, Toriador, number 219, Hoosier Mama. 24 is Wreck and Shrew. 25, Varla Vendetta. Number 27 is Zoe Trocious. Number 30, Athena to Crime. 52 is Sargentina. 57, Amy No Nemi. Number 70 is Georgia On Your Behind. 74, Debauchery. 75 is Bork, Bork, Bork. And number 999 is Yvette, your maker, with bench coaches Justice Feelgood Marshall, Angel Dust, and Nina Fail. And as we begin on the Dr. Hauschka Jam line, we have number four in the black and red for Kansas City. That's Kelly Young up against Jackie Daniels in the white and blue and red. So many colors. Yes. So the many, the lovely Chicago flag. Yes, indeed. And this is the third match of these two teams. The last one just two months ago in Kansas City was victorious by 19 points. So this should be exciting here as we are underway. Both jammers hit the pack. A two wall up front by Windy City as Jackie Daniels making a move here. She's got one blocker to beat up front. That bruise her, the captain of the team. Holding her off. Now she gets some help from Evolution. Meanwhile, at the back of the pack, a nice two wall by Yvette, your maker, an old dirty go-go holding off Kelly Young and pushing outside the engagement zone. Jackie Daniels gets the first lead jammer status of this match. Finally just braid her way through. She has had to keep on, on bashing and bashing and bashing her way through. That's the kind of never say die attitude that Jackie Daniels has exhibited in her years, not only as Windy City, but also way back when she was up in Michigan. Yeah, she started her career with Grand Rapids, and now she's on a scoring pass. Kelly Young did clear the pack, so one blocker to beat here for Jackie Daniels. And Jackie's going to call it off after scoring three. Bella Fire able to avoid being a point. And Kelly Young, of course, not able to score any of that time. So, you know, getting three is fine as long as you stop your opponent from getting even one. It's the big jams you worry about. <laughs> I often worry about, I always wonder who's going to score the first 15 point jam yeah, yeah, yeah. in a match. Track rat lining up for Kansas City up against Zoe Trocious for Windy City. Zoe Trocious, a rookie this year with Excellent. the Windy City Roller All Stars. She was with the local league for three seasons, but this is new for her. Her first championship as we start with the scrum start we've been starting with lately. Zoe Trosh is kind of tiptoeing her way through there. Still having a tough time at the front of it, but no. Track Rat is your lead jammer for the Kansas City Roller Warriors. Going to try to get their first points on the board as we look back at the pack. Zoe Trosh is contending with Eclipse at the front of the pack, number zero for Kansas City. Very nice front of the pack play there by KC. Oh. And the Track Rat, she's going to the penalty box. She is indeed, oh, she is indeed. Low, block. <laughs> low block on Track Rat. So Zoe Trocious on her initial pass. In a power jam situation here, we got a two wall that's bruised her and Annie Mall number 111. But Zoe gets through. We're going the full two minutes here. So we will see Track Rat again, and she will be on a scoring pass when she comes out of the penalty box. And just a minor back block there on Zoe Trocious, but it's enough to stop her from getting lead jammer status and calling it off. Pushed out of the outside and down to her knees again. And again. He clips. Big hits. You see in Kansas City, they like to face the jammer. You see, you'll see, you see Evolution do that a lot today, I think. And we saw Evolution Eclipse do it there. And now this pack jockeys for position slowed down quite a bit here. Tries to go around the outside. Gets a duh, one, two, punch. From KC, Trauma was the last one that actually gave her the actual push out. 
Very nice penalty kill here by Kansas City. Slowing down Zoe Trocia. Someone's getting called out on the far side. I think that's the Eclipse. Yep. <laughs> All right, here comes Track Rat back out of the box. This is a scoring pass. She's Win Go Windy, ahead. City, uh, Windy City realized that. It was really good. Windy City realized that. They're a lot of times when you're stuck in the pack there, you're not quite sure that whether she's made it through the first time. Windy City all of a sudden had, had that eye-to-eye that -eye contact there, realized, yeah, we have to stop her. We can't just let her through because we're ahead right now. And we see the replay there of Track Rat colliding with Zoe Trocious and Track Rat going to the penalty box there. And it was 4-3 to three in that jam in favor of Kansas City. So the score 6-4 to four in the early goings. We see Varla Vendetta on the line for Windy City, and that is case closed for Kansas City. Had some clutch jams late against Rose City yesterday. Very instrumental in Kansas City's victory. Can I tell you just how much I'm loving the scrum? I love this so much more than, than the slow derby action here. It's just people are getting back to a real, real rough and tumble actual physical game. And it's, it's great as far as I'm concerned. It's pure physicality out there. Varla Vendetta going to the penalty box. I didn't see what the call was. But it's a power jam here for Kansas City. We'll see if they can capitalize on it more than Windy City was able to do on their last power jam. And who's your mama? And Bork, Bork, Bork. Oh, very nice. Up front, trying to hold off Case Closed. And Case Closed gets through for lead jammer. And she's going to call it off right away. She's going to she's going to protect that power jam for the next jam and Kelly Young. Outside the lines is a new kind of t-shirt. You can check them out at the Spenlin booth here at the First Bank Center or at spenlinmedia.com. Adam Wheels is also the official wheel of the WFTDA. Adam Wheels. So we're going to see a power jam for Kelly Young and the Kansas City Roller Warriors as they're going to try and take their first lead of this match. we got an official timeout on the track. The referee's going to discuss some things. Now, these two teams just faced each other just two months ago, and uh, Kansas City came away with a very, very small victory. In that matchup in September, it was in Chicago. Kansas City opened up a very large lead. I want to say it was 60 to 70 points, and then K Windy City came roaring back, got it within 10 points, and then Kelly Young scored nine points in the last jam to lock it down for the 19-point victory. And if that's any indication of what, what we're going to see tonight, this afternoon, <laughs> that's going to be great. Well, we've been seeing a lot of those, a lot of teams this weekend just getting out ahead and coming back, and other teams coming back in both Minnesota bouts, in that last bout of uh, uh, Rocky Mountain versus, uh, versus uh, Gotham. Just a lot of just... There, there, there's people that are just not giving up this tournament, and it's great. It's great to see adjustments from different teams. That was a, that delay was a whiteboard clarification, just trying to make sure all the minors are all tallied correctly. And we are underway here. Kelly Young, formerly known as the artist Snot Rocket. <laughs> the pack now picking up some serious pace now. We see Sargentina and Hoosier Mama trying to hold off Kelly Young at the front of the pack. And Kelly Young gets lead goes. jammer status. Very nice. He's kind of weaving back and forth, back and forth, trying to be far get, get behind that, that last two front wall there, two, that two front wall for Windy City. Nice knock in. Kelly Young sp wow. splits the middle between Toreador and Bork, Bork, Bork. Knock Toreador down. I haven't seen that happen a lot. It does not happen very often. Four big roller derby points. And we've got our first lead change of this match, eight to six, as Kelly Young's going for more. And Varla Vendetta comes out of the penalty box, gets right through the pack. So Kelly Young is going to end the jam there. Four more, 12 to 6. Now you can have incredible, incredible freedom and incredible comfort with the Protec Dent mouth guard. Protec Dent. As we line them up again, we're going to see number 30, Hall Balls, for the first time for Kansas City. She's up against number 999, Yvette, your maker for Windy City. She missed 2010 with a knee injury. But Windy City's very happy to have her back. Kind of the first year she's been jamming with the All-Star team, however. Both teams with one player in the box, Hoosier Mama for Windy City and Trauma for Kansas City. And Jackie Daniels going to the penalty box. And we got a lead jammer, Hall Balls for Kansas City. <laughs> she certainly is. And Yvette, your maker, trying to clear. Annie Mall trying to hold her in, but Yvette, your maker, able to get through. 
So we watch that pack reform. Bork, 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 currently the only blocker out there for Windy City. She is joined by Old Dirty Gogo. Yvette Jamaker is going to try and get up. Oh, very close. Yvette Jamaker was just pouring on the speed there, trying to make sure she got one or two before she called it off. But unfortunately for Windy City, unable to do so. But nice blocking by Windy City, keeping it a zero to zero jam there. Fast Girl Skates is the industry pioneer in boot sizing and configuration for women's feet. Fast Girl Skates, another proud sponsor of the WFTDA Big Five. As we line them up again, we see the picket fence for Kansas City taking a knee. Only one blocker out there for Windy City, but we're going to see a timeout. The Naptown <laughs> fence action going on here. Love to see it. If you'd like to communicate with us, you can tweet. You can tweet us at hashtag talk the number two WFTDA. That's talk to WFTDA and talk to us. And maybe maybe we'll read. That's on the Tweety box, right? The Tweety box. The Tweety box. Yes. You know, Derby Skins loves making your hiney shiny. Well, not yours, Bryant Mumble, but most people. Oh, you, they should try once or twice. Derby Skins, one of the fine, fine sponsors here at the WFTDA Big Five tournaments. Looks like we're about ready to go. Georgia on your behind. The lone blocker out there for Windy City. Track rat trying to get around. Hoosier Mama joins the pack now for Windy City. Wearing the pivot stripe. Both jammers weaving their way through. J Varela Vendetta gets through, gets a whip from Hoosier Mama. Lead jammer status, Windy City. Very nice. This is what Windy needs to turn this around. They, get, they are ahead by one point. But it seems like they've just been a little bit behind, a little bit behind each of these last few jams. Kansas City's really, really running on them. Oh, nice. Evolution with the jam ending block. And she went straight to the box before she was even called out, I think. There's a little confusion out there. Varla Vendetta, she's okay with it now. Uh, but Nina Fail out there in the Windy City Rollers jumpsuit trying to clarify some things. So we're going to see the replay here. Evolution. Oh, wow. And Varla calling it off <laughs> midair. There was a little bit of a smile on her face coming up from that. I certainly wouldn't be smiling if that had just happened to me. <laughs> wow. All right, two blockers in the box for both of these teams, Older Diogo and Jackie Daniels in the box for Windy City. And for Kansas City, Bella Fire and Trauma. It's a power jam for Athena to crime in her first jam. She did not have a single penalty box trip in the entire region playoff. I take that back, of course. What just happened, of course, Evolution was also in the box as well. So there's a full box. The seven-year veteran, Varla, I mean, Athena the Crime, gets lead jammer status. John? Absolutely. There, no, no, there's a full box for Kansas City. So this is certainly the time that Windy City can capitalize. But still playing a very good defense there, knocking her inside, forcing her to go all the way to the back, trying to – Windy City's going up, trying to make a big 20-foot uh, gap there. But – to no avail. Nice blocking by Bruise Her and the transfer from Cincinnati, Trauma. And there we go. Big whip. Get some speed on there. That's five big roller derby points for a grand slam for Windy City. And here comes Athena to crime again. She collides with Bruise Her. No call there. I like to go around block. people. And now it's going to be a back block on uh -oh. Athena to crime. And right through the pack on her initial pass. That's going to be Track Rat for Kansas City. Now in a power jam opportunity, the tables have turned. That was good timing because Windy City was kind of paying attention to their own jammer going into the box. And she was able to get through. Oh, an attempted an apex jump there. Took a bit of a tumble at the end. Jackie Daniels, I think, connected with her there as she was trying to get through on the inside. But here comes <laughs> Track Rat again. This is a scoring pass for Track Rat. Yvette, your maker going to the penalty box in the high socks for Windy City. So Windy City trying to kill this penalty now. So far, so good, although this is a scoring pass. Trying to get past Jackie up at the front and has to let her through. And outside the engagement zone, penalty on Bork, Bork, Bork. Five more points for Kansas City extending their lead. And it looks like the power play, the power jam is going to continue a little bit as Athena to crime is still sitting in the penalty box. Talk is cheap. Clothing wants you to take it to the track. You can stop by their booth if you're here at the First Bank Center or you can visit their website today. Talk is cheap. 
Jade Lightning, the jammer now for Kansas City. Oh. The score 20 to 11 in favor of Kansas City. They're going to try and extend their lead here. As we see Deb Autry and Hoosier Mama holding that front line for Windy City in a minivan jam situation. Two in the front, five in the back. Oh, <laughs> nice little attempted. Oh, no, she just kind of shrugged that off. Hoosier Mama going to try and pound again. Trying to get in the sandwich there. Finally gets past Lee Jammer. And Kansas I think that the crime comes out of the penalty box. On her initial pass, she's got Eclipse to get past. And Eclipse slowing her down nicely for Kansas City. Goes on. Oh, one, two, three. Took three hits, but knocked her out. Evolution with the hammer there. Excellent teamwork. Another scoring pass underway. Hoosier Mama gets a jammer takedown on Jade Lightning. And Evolution with another trip to the box. As Deb Autry joins her for Windy City. So it's four penalty trips already yep. for that, Evolution? That'll be her fourth already, and that's with not even 15 minutes gone in this she, first half. She did fall out yesterday late in the game, but she is definitely a key member of her of Kansas City's pack. All right, looks like we got Jackie Daniels jamming for Windy City, number, double, number 07, in the white, blue, and or the red star on her helmet. She's going up again against Kelly Young, number four, in the black with, uh, with lovely uh, red trim. Yes, the red trim <laughs> is very nice. It's a nice touch. And we are awaiting the beginning of this jam. And now there's no pack they can go. And oh, very Kelly nice. Young. Look at that. Oh, she almost had it. Old Dirty Go-Go lays the block. And it's going to be a cut. She cut on Old Dirty Go-Go, so it's a power jam here wow. for Jackie Daniels, the captain of the Windy City Rollers. She gets through. How quickly things turn. And we got lead jammer status awarded to Jackie Daniels here. Only two blockers out there for Kansas City. So here's a chance for Windy City to get something going here, down 14 points. Eclipse gets the hit, but she goes down, so Jackie can yeah. come back in. Wow. Four points. Always good. Jackie Daniels keeping an eye on her. Want to know, can I go back in? Can I go back in? Yes, I can get in back there, back there make it through. Evolution back on the track for Kansas City. Going to try to make her presence known. And she does. As now she's tangling with Jackie Daniels. As Debatri tried to help out her captain there by taking on Evolution herself. Varla Vendetta, the pivot for Windy City going to the penalty box. And it's her third trip to the box. Bruise her, holding that front line for Kansas City. But old Dirty Go-Go comes up, helps out Jackie Daniels. Five-point grand slam for the Windy City Rollers. It's nice to pick up that jammer lap point as Kelly Young returns into the pack here. Weaves through. It's like some slalom skiing through there. Wow. What great cuts by <laughs> Kelly Young. She cut in, she cut out, and around. And Jackie's got to call it off. She does score two more points. But Kelly Young keeping the pressure on. 25 to 22. And Dr. Dr. Hauschka is the, is the WFTDA's official bruise healer. You can lose the bruise with Dr. Hauschka's ouch aid. We, I think we got a tweet. Ooh. Kitty Purry and Salisbury Roller Girls. They're watching at home in Maryland. Oh, Maryland. They're here on WFTDA.com. Are they watching the high quality stream? I would hope so. I bet they are. Especially if it's blown up to a big size. I would think. And I believe they must be really proud of how their uh, their state mates, the Charm City Roller Girls, played yesterday. Almost coming from behind and taking it from Minnesota. This jam is underway. It's Yvette, your maker for Windy City, and case closed for Kansas City. Yvette, your maker gets lead jammer status, but she gets knocked down, recycled back into the pack as case closed clears the pack. So I would expect Yvette, your maker, to likely call off the jam here. And Bella Fire joins her in the box. Joins yeah. Barla Vendetta in the box. Yeah, that your maker will call off the jam. So zero to zero on that one. Remains a three-point game, very closely matched. We're at 13 minutes and 45 seconds here in this first half of the third quarterfinal matchup of the 2011 WFTDA Championship. Flat Track Revolution, where your passion, flattrackrevolution.com. 
We line them up again. We're going to see the rookie for Windy City, Zoe Trocious, up against Hall Balls. Zoe Trocious, very, very impressive. She's very agile. Oh, wow. Nice, nice push there by number 52 for Windy City. Sargentina. Sargentina. So the jam underway. Zoe Trocious making a run here. She's got Annie Mall to contend with at the front of the pack. She's trying to juke around her. Getting some help from Trauma for Kansas City. But makes it and gets lead jam or lead jam Windy City. So one pass would get us a lead change here. We'll see if she can make her way around as case closed. I'm sorry, Hall Balls still in the pack for Kansas City. And Sargentina rides her out of bounds. Getting a little help from uh, Old Dirty Go Go there. She set her up and then Sargentina knocked her down. And here comes Zoe Trocious on her scoring pass. A three wall up front. And that's going to end the jam. Two more points, three more points for Windy City. So oh, that would be a tie game. Tie it? game. 25. 25 all at 12 minutes and 20 seconds to go in the first half. Union Vacations is proud to provide the 2011 WFTDA MVP. That's most valuable player with one with a one week getaway to Mexico. Mexico. That's pretty impressive. I, yeah. So tomorrow we're going to find out who that is, I do yeah, believe. That's right. And uh, More impressive if you're from a northern state, I suppose. Yes, indeed. If you're from Texas, it's not that big of a <laughs> no, deal. No, it's just a little skip. <laughs> yeah, well, we go there all the time. Well, they pay for your, they pay for everything else, too. All right, we're underway <laughs> here. We've got Jackie Daniels for Windy City. And up near the front, getting wow. through, we've got a lead jammer. That is Track Rat for Kansas City. Very, very nice. Nice blocking here by Kansas City, holding off Jackie Daniels. Got to give credit to Annie Mall. Working on Jackie Daniels as now Track Rat on her scoring pass here. Jackie Daniels clears on her initial. Just spread him out just enough to get on through. And also with uh, now back to down to two Windy City blockers in the box. This is going to make it a little bit easier for Kansas City. To and score some points. With that, they do retake the lead. Four-point jam there for Kansas City, 29-25. to 25. Sin City Skates are the official Big Five skate techs. They'll fix your gear or just chat about new stuff. Sin City Skates. I hear the Wolf Pack in the crowd. <laughs> the Kansas City Roller Warrior Wolf Pack as they've uh, taken on that moniker this year. It's not, it's not a team name. It's just a fun thing. The Wolf Pack. As we see Varla Vendetta for Windy City up against Jade Lightning for Kansas City. Varla Vendetta gets Varla, through. Wow. Before she's even out of turn one, she's your lead jammer. Varla Vendetta, Windy City trying to get back here as there goes Jade Lightning. She clears the pack. And pulling on some speed. Look, I can see steam coming out of her ears. Look at that. Just gets really, really low in that speed skating stance. So let's see what Varla can do here. Not Got the pressure on. She's going to get a whip from Sargentina, gain some momentum. Can she break that three wall? Will she call off? She calls it off. I'm not and even going to try it. Zero. Yep. She was shaking her head there, thinking, you know what? I'm not going to be able to make this. And really, sometimes that's better just to, uh, to not exhaust yourself, to not get, uh, open yourself to injury. And don't let the other team score any points. Don't, tr <laughs> don't try to, too hard. Too. Yes. We're going to see Kelly Young once again here. One of the first superstars of Roller Derby, formerly known as Snot Rockets. Snot Rocket Science. <laughs> no, she plays for Pittsburgh. Yes, exactly. But uh, we've got <laughs> Athena DeCrime for Windy City in her seventh year with Windy City. And it's a wall versus a wall here. Two wall up front for Windy City, three wall in the back. Usually this favors the jammer in the front, but we'll see what happens here as, oh. yes, indeed. Kelly Young is your lead jammer for Kansas City. Going to try and extend this m narrow four-point margin here. She almost got her leg caught up beyond, uh, with uh, Bork, 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 but managed to stay clean and get through. That was oh! a huge hit from Bork, Bork, Bork. If I didn't take you out at turn three, I'll take you out at turn one. <laughs> that was a big hit from the rookie, but Kelly Young does get through on her scoring pass. Five-point grand slam as the Theater of the Crime clears the pack. Going to try and keep the pressure on as Windy City has claimed the front of the pack. However, they lose another blocker, Who's Your Mama. Two on two in the pack. And, and Athena really riding on her skates there, coming on up. No points scored. So just enough pressure there from Athena to crime to end the jam, limit the damage, nine-point game. We're seeing the replay here. Some people getting tangled up. 
You know, Elemental Technologies are the world's, or provides the world's most powerful video processing solution and a proud sponsor of the WFTDA Big Five, Elemental Technologies. This new jam is underway. It's case closed for Kansas City against Reckonshrews, jamming for her first time tonight, this afternoon. And uh, she's looking very defensive right now in nature. As case closed, making her way towards the front. Jackie Daniels, last line of defense. Getting some help from Amy Nonami. As Reckonshrew is stuck behind a three wall of Kansas City. And we got a winner from Kansas City. It's case closed. Lead jammer status. So Reckonshrew still on her initial pass, now contending with Annie Maul at the front of the pack. Going to get some help possibly from Old Dirty Go Go outside the engagement zone. They have to let her go. So we look at back at case closed, who is scoring now. Once she passes a blocker's hips, she will score a point, and she's doing so now. And she calls it off. Three more points creeping away from Windy City, 37 to 25. Now I'm really liking the evolution now over the past, well, over the past five tournaments, the evolution of the scoreboard down here at the bottom of the, uh, of, the, of the track. There were a lot of complaints right at the beginning about how it took up too much space. They keep on changing it every time. Now we have the score, we have the team logos, we have the team names, and we have the number of remaining timeouts just below the scores and the team names. I like it. The WFTA oh. improving the quality here. We got Varla Vendetta for Windy City against Track Rat for Kansas City. Right as it started, Track Rat Hip check, knocked her down, but she got right back up again. And Varla Vendetta up near the front of the pack, trying to get through. One thing about Varla Vendetta, she recovers really quickly. Absolutely. That is one of her, her main assets. Is she, she gets hit, but she recovers so quickly. Gets lead jammer status there. Trying to get Windy City back into this one. Narrow that gap as Deb Autry is contending with Track Rat. And Tori Adore goes to the box for Windy City. And here comes Varla Vendetta on her scoring pass. Three wall at the front, collides with the blocker. No calls are made. And Varla gets taken out. I didn't see who took her out, but that was a nice block there. And the pack moving, crawling now as yeah, Damsel in detention goes to the penalty box for Kansas City. Varla was kind of just biding her time, taking a look through, trying to see, figure out where to go, which one to try, which one to try to get through. She's taking a little bit of a pounding here, as uh, Windy City doing. It's basically wall against wall. Varla's going to call it off. At least she tried to. She had a back block major, can't do it. So Track Rack gets taken out by Bork, Bork, Bork at the front of the pack. I think this is Track Rack's initial pass. And Track Rack was pretty slow to get back up there. Luckily, she's she looks okay. She's but been. Then she has to go up against a couple of big Windy City girls that are going to be able to just outsize her and outmaneuver her. They're just slowing her down, sandwiching her through. Yeah. But she finally gets through. Oh! Bork, bork, bork. Indeed. And slow to get up, Track Rat. Again. She's not looking too good there. Oh, I hope everything's okay. She's holding that left knee. Is she just trying to get her knee pad? or? She's not looking real comfortable right now, though, as... A blocker from Kansas City goes to the penalty box. That's going to end the jam. Pretty good penalty kill there for Windy City as they scored four points before their jammer went to the penalty box. Tr track rat not oh. looking too good there. Yeah, yeah, really favoring that right leg. Here's the last hit as Bork, Bork, Bork connected with her right, right thigh. She did get up on, into the seat on her own power. People are looking at her. Meanwhile, the next jam has begun. Jade Lightning for Kansas City in a power jam situation. Varla Vendetta, I do believe, is cooling her jets for Windy City. Jade Lightning trying to get people to, to jump off that line there, giving them kind of a, a shock. Jade Lightning now getting a little bit of speed. The pack getting a little... Spread out is Amy Nonami going to the penalty box for Windy City. And here comes Jade Lightning now. One blocker to beat. Oh. Jackie Daniels at the front of the pack trying to hold her off. It's a very tight turnaround. And you bet your maker, but. Varla Vendetta came out of the penalty box. She did not get lead jammer, but definitely it ended the jam there. It made Jade Lightning end the jam. And we will reset.
at 37 to 29. Very low scoring matchup here in this first half of play. You can go to the Durbel Life booth if you're here at the First Bank Center in beautiful Denver, Colorado. Broomfield, Colorado, pardon me. Or go to DurbelLife.com for a free nutrition profile. DurbelLife.com. Each team, I believe, has one blocker in the penalty box. We see Kelly Young once again for Kansas City getting tangled up with Bork, Bork, Bork. And Zoe Trosha is for Windy City. Kelly Young looks pretty good right now. Oh, the nice block by Hoosier Mama, but she stepped out of bounds, so Kelly Young can come back in. However, Kelly Young did not get lead jammer status, so Zoe Trosha still has a crack at it, but she only has one blocker helping her. That's, that is Hoosier Mama. Amy Nonami and Jackie Daniels in the box. Quick pass for Kelly Young, five points, and she's going to have a chance to get more. She really needs to get through, gets it, and calls it off. Wow. Two blockers going to the penalty box, Eclipse and Evolution for Kansas City. Two of their strongest blockers sitting in the, in the sin bin right now. Looks like Kansas also, yep. So we have two and two in the box, very light packs out there. On the Dr. Hauschka jammer line, we see you vet your maker for Windy City, and that is case closed for Kansas City, the Roller Warriors contending with the Micro Pack. This jam has begun, and uh, Windy City gonna establish the pack speed to get the jam underway. And very nice. Case closed, <laughs> but you've had your maker right with her. Oh yeah. Case closed looking defensive. Looks like they're gonna try to engulf her again. A play known as eating the baby. Jack, he's back in. That didn't work out as it seems. It doesn't seem like it has worked out. Case Close still working on it. Still playing defense here. Oh, as we look at the pack, now we look at the jammers. Yvette, your maker has passed Case Closed. So we'll see how Case Close calls this. Yes, she does. Ending the jam 0-0, zero to 42-29. Zero, to 29. We've got time for one more jam in this first half of play. 13-point game. Rydell Skates from beautiful Red Wing, Minnesota. They are a proud partner and the official skate of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association, Rydell Skates. Neither team finding the answer to the big jam exactly here. It's been grinding so far. Just a few points each jam for each team as we see Hall Balls for Kansas City up against Reckon Shrew, jamming for the second time, I do believe, for Windy City. And she gets taken out. And so, Paul Balls, contending with Who's Your Mama, takes a shot. Sargentina trying to hold the outside line. And Reckon has got a lane there. She gets through lead jammer status for Windy City, trying to get something going. And uh, did we have a star pass? No, we did not. No, no. <laughs> My eyes deceived me as Hall Balls clears the pack. So Reckonshrew here with a chance to score some points. She passes, let's see how many, zero blockers. Zero. Huh. It was very close, but nice pressure put yeah. on by Hall Balls. And that's the half. Moving into it. So after, the, after that first half, Jackie Daniels leads Windy City with 14 points. And followed closely, not even actually very closely, Varla Vendetta with four. On the side of Kansas now, Kelly Young leads with 17 points. Evolution leads in trips to the box, so she's got to really got to watch that. Four trips so far. She has kind of cleaned it up in the last half of the first half. Yes, she has. I think we spoke a little errantly earlier. We said she had four penalties earlier, but now she definitely has four penalties. <laughs> As uh, Kelly Young, though, doing what she does, the superstar uh, of... Kansas City and Track Rat right behind her doing the most of the offense. Also three other Kansas players also with three trips to the box. They're going to have to watch themselves as well. Oh, and we're, we have a little bit of a score change here. Kelly Young actually had 16, uh, 18 points. Track Rat was 16. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, back here in the lovely First Bank Center in Broomfield, Colorado, just outside of Denver. 
for the WFTDA. The WFTDA. I got them all there. Yes, you did. 2011 championship tournament sponsored and run by the Denver Roller Dolls. Got to give a big thank you to the Denver Roller Dolls. This is a pretty fabulous facility here. Great lighting rig, nice stadium here. And they're just having fun with it, which they is They are indeed. As we, uh, we are about to rejoin the action, we've got Kansas City leading the Windy City Rollers in this quarterfinal match. 42 to 29, a very low scoring yeah. first half of play. Very nice defensive game going on. It's been it's been a lot of fun to watch these two very, very good teams. They're definitely duking it out. They're slugging it out out there. Neither team able to get a big jam in. It's only a 13 point game here. The highest score of the entire bout so far is Kelly Young with 18 points for Kansas City. And of course the winner of this game is gonna go up at 7.15 tonight, Mountain Time. They're gonna take on the winner of the next game which is the Ole Rollers versus the Philly Roller Girls. So again, it's gonna be a fun, fun bout here. Now, that's going to be a lot of fun to see the difference here. Ole Rollers, of course, they have the reputation for being a really, really speed-oriented team. And both these teams, as well as Philly, very good hard-hitting teams. So we're going to see whatever happens at, in this next game. I think the, the game 10 tonight at 715, which you and I are calling as yes, well. Yes, indeed. We're going to have an excellent seat. It's going to be fun. <laughs> I think indeed. As we're looking at our stats here, we see Evolution with some penalty troubles for Kansas City. She has four minutes in the penalty box. She did fall out yesterday against Portland. She's a definite huge factor out there for Kansas City. And on Windy City side, they got Bork, Bork, Bork with three minutes in the penalty box. Of course, seven minutes gets you ejected from the game. Now the Big Five would like to thank the following event partners. Jules Doyle Photography, Roller Girl Skates, Green Monster Roller Sports, Derby for All, Derby Supply, Vanilla Skates, Five on Five, Skate Court, Wicked Skatewear, Blood and Thunder Magazine, CHE Sportswear, Hex Chromosome, and Five Stride. Always good to see a lot of the Derby community, the Derby business community getting behind this sport, making it a whole worldwide phenomenon, not just with the sport itself, but just the whole kind of economy that's 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 really built itself up around it that just wasn't here 10 years ago. Right. It's uh, There's so many skaters out there, and those skaters need gear, and they want clothes affiliated with roller derby, and they want other things affiliated with roller <laughs> derby. So it's great that, you know, the sport is now kind of self-contained. We can support ourselves. Yeah, absolutely. You see a lot of the, the, the people behind the booths here at these tournaments and at their own skate shops that are going to be skating in these events as well, which is really, really cool, keeping it in the community. <laughs> They're playing in the tournament and <laughs> selling stuff in the hallway. So wow. It's kind of fun. All right, Jackie Daniels lining up here, jamming on the Dr. Hauschka Jam line for Windy City, of course, in the white with red and blue touches up against Kelly Young. They've gone up against each other a couple times in black and red for Kansas City. The penalty box is empty, which I what? think is amazing. All right. So it's four on four in the pack. They're going to see if we can keep it that way. <laughs> Let's see if the zebras uh, <laughs> say, no, no, you can't. And for the Canadians in the audience, that would be zebras. Yes. Up oh, there, yeah. <laughs> and we see the hand raised by our NSO indicating less than five seconds before we start. And he says start, and we do. He wasn't lying. Jackie Daniels, ooh, trying to get that inside track there, but did not make it. Oh, and now Kelly Young following her, also did not make it. Wow, both of them saw the same hole that appeared in the uh, the opponent's wall twice within two seconds of each other, tried for it, did not make it. They both tried one side and then <laughs> crossed each other and tried wh what the other one had already tried. And Bork, Bork, Bork is going to christen the penalty box for the second half as Kelly Young takes lead jammer status for Kansas City. The pack picking up pace now as Evolution holding that inside line in the red sparkly shorts for Kansas City as Jackie Daniels able to get through the pack. As Kelly Young approaches now, he, she approaches Old Dirty Go-Go, gets right past her, and now has a wall to contend with at the front of Yvette Yermaker and Barla Vendetta. And she calls it off, so she's going to get how many points? We're waiting for the referee. Four oh. points. And Jackie Daniels just coming up to the back of the pack there. Unfortunately for Windy City, did not, was not able to make it. Kansas City extends their lead. They now lead by 17 points with 28 minutes, 50 seconds remaining in this game. 
So we're going to line them up again. We've got Case Closed in black for Kansas City up against Zoe Trocious, the very animated jammer for Windy City. And this jam is underway slowly. It's a scrum. Both jammers trying to find some kind of hole. Case Closed able to get past her blockers, which was a feat in and of itself. Staying and now on her toe stops, tap, bruise tap, her. Away. Bruise her, creates a little hole, spreads things out a little bit. I love that how Zoetrocious is just able to keep on moving by just tapping on her feet there. A bruiser trying to help at the front of the pack. It seems to be doing the job, and she does get lead jammer for case closed. Kansas City. Amy no Amy just short of a good hit, solid hit on her. Kansas City seems to be building a little bit of momentum here as uh, the halftime speech seems to have uh, had some effect for the Roller Warriors. As Zoe Trocious clears the pack on her initial pass. And here comes Case Close on our scoring pass here. This is actually only, Case Close is only fifth jam this game. And she's going to end the jam there. Three more points, slowly trying to extend that lead. Creeping away bit by bit. It's a 20-point game. I think that's the biggest lead so far in this match. That's right. Yeah, they're kind of separating out their jammers. Their jammers are not playing a lot of individual jams here, preferring to, sp to spread it amongst these all the different players, whereas Jackie Daniels being focused on in for Windy City, 13 jams, 14 points. Varla Vendetta and Yvette Maker both with 12 jams, 4 points for Varla, 0 for Yvette. And Varla Vendetta jamming now for Windy City as Jackie Daniels establishes the pack speed so we can get underway. Jade Lightning is the jammer for Kansas City. And Jay Lightning near the front has a chance to get through. She's contending with the Yvette, your maker. Some nice blocking at the back by Bruise her for Kansas City. And Varla finds some room on the inside, gets through. Lead jammer, Windy City. And Toria Dorr heads to the box for her third trip of the game. And Jade Lightning get hung up there. Yvette, your maker, knocked her through the inside. And Varla Vendetta on a scoring pass, gets through. Five-point grand slam for Windy City. Now only one blocker out there for Kansas City. Windy City has a chance to get something going here as Ex Jade Lightning clears the pack. Exactly what Windy City re needs right now. Need to make sure get up through here. Pick up a couple more points. And is she going to, is she going to, is she going to? She calls call it off, did she, did she? <laughs> she did it just in time. Wow. They're saying zero points for Varla Vendetta, is that right? Uh, well, <laughs> looks like there might be some, uh, some talking twos out there as one of the bench coaches for that's for Kansas, Kansas City, City. Come on out, come on out. But uh, no, I don't see uh, either coach for Windy City. Come on out. Well, uh, the, huh. let's see, forty-nine to thirty-eight. She, I'm pretty sure she's scored. There's a nice skip there by Varla Vendetta, seeing how she cleared the pack. I think my eyes deceived me. I think she scored points. I just didn't see how many, as we have yeah, an I official thought, timeout. I, I thought I saw a fist as well. So, but uh, yes. looks like the points went up on the board. So everybody knows what's going on. Eleven point game. <laughs> as we have a slight delay here to get things sorted out. Bruised Boutique would like you to say, hey, love your skates. You can use code SEASON15 to take 15% off at bruisedboutique.com. Hey, love your skates. And we got a theme of the crime out there for Windy City up against Kelly Young. Gonna try to get things back on track for Kansas City as we had one good jam there for we had a late fourth minor. That's what they were discussing there. On okay. uh, someone out there, I'm not sure who. And Athena to crime trying to get oh. them out, outside the engagement zone infraction. So Athena to crime is a lead jammer for Windy City. Two jams in a row, but Kelly Young is going to be hot on her tail. She's about a quarter track behind her, and Kelly Young, she's fast. And the penalty box just empties out. All of a sudden, a whole bunch of skaters just jammed up, and we have full, we have two full teams out there. And enough pressure from Kelly Young to end the jam, zero to zero. Two blockers in the box for Kansas City. So a little penalty issue here, as Windy City has gotten two lead jammer statuses in a row. Remember, Elemental Technologies offers the world's most powerful video processing solutions. Proud sponsor of the WFTDA Big Five tournaments. Elemental Technologies. The crowd responding to the house announcers saying cheer for your team, and they do. 
<laughs> as uh, Jackie Daniels jamming for Windy City. Expect to see more of her in the second half against Hall Balls for Kansas City. And Jackie Daniels through for lead jammer status. Third lead jammer in a row for Windy City. And here comes Jackie Daniels on her scoring pass already. She's got some room on the inside. Annie Mall up front trying to hold off Jackie Daniels. And Clawed outside the past evolution and then had to let her get through. Five big points for Jackie Daniels. And Hall Balls gets through on our initial pass, so this will likely be the last pass here for Jackie Daniels. As Kansas City trying to claim the front, Windy City trying to break up that wall at the front. They're able to do so. Here comes Jackie now. Whistle being blown. Back block on Jackie Daniels. So power jam here for Hall Balls. How the tide has turned. So now Kansas City scoring some points. Four blockers at the front for Windy City. Three out there. No, now two. Evolution going to the penalty box again. So four on two. Trying to kill this. No, now it's four on three as Windy City. <laughs> I mean, three on two. Math is getting difficult for me. It is. Deb Autry goes to the penalty box for Windy City. The pack just racing now. Speeding around. Annie Mall low block when she took out Georgia on your behind. So Kansas City loses another blocker, but they do score points. Get through on a scoring plus five point grand slam there for Kansas City. 54 to 43. And she's going for more as, of course, this will go the full two minutes. We're winding down. Can she score more? Three, yeah. two, one. She's getting past blockers. How many? Archie and Lee comes back in for Kansas City. Three more points for Kansas City, extending their lead. And Bruiser gets sent off to the box at the end, it looks like. Or not. They were just communicating a little bit back and forth. Now, oh, now they're having a chat. And yes, I believe that was her fourth minor. And we haven't seen Track Rat come back out for Kansas City. She got shaken up in the first half. A little curious what's going on there for Kansas City as we see. Case closed for Kansas City against Varla Vendetta for Windy City. Only one blocker out there for Kansas City right now. Yeah, that's right. Annie Mall, Archie Lee, and Evolution all in the box. Trauma's out there trying to do it all on her own. Debauchery's in the box for Windy City. But Varla Vendetta is able to get on through, get the jammer status. But Case Close going to try to keep the pressure on a half track behind as Hoosier Mama took out Evolution, creating a hole for Varla Vendetta. She gets through, she calls it off. Four more points, making it a 10 point game here, 57 to 47 at the 21 minute mark. Derbyology.com, purveyors of the Derby Unusual. We're not crazy, we just played Derby. Derbyology.com. All right, leading into the next jam, Annie Mall and Archie Lee still in the box for Kansas City, it looks like. Debauchery, nope, Debauchery's out of the box. Hasn't updated, our score system hasn't updated it here yet. So it's four on two in the pack for Kelly Young for Kansas City, and Zoe Trocious finds a hole in the middle. Wow! Nice blocking by Windy City to create that hole but for those two blockers. And, and she's a rookie. <laughs> she is a rookie. And it's her third year with the league, but this is her first year oh, with the okay. All-Star team. Not a pure rookie, per se. <laughs> and some collisions now. Zoe Trocious on a scoring pass. And we're seeing five-point grand slam. Five to the sky for Windy City. Down just five points here. Kelly Young trying to clear the pack, trying to contend with Jackie Daniels. And she gets through. Finally makes it through there. So, so. that... That should probably prevent the tie as Zoe Trocious gets through, calls it off. Four Pick points. And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, we are at a one point game. Yes, indeed wow. we are. With 20 <laughs> minutes remain, one point separate these two teams. And we're seeing this fighting here on the, the replay. Replay is awesome as Zoe Trocious gets through the pack I, on her scoring pass. I watched the replay, I still don't know how she made it through, wow. She's been called uh, Wet Noodle. She's been called <laughs> Spider Monkey. She's been called a lot of different things, but she, she's a very animated, agile skater. As we rejoin the action, we've got Wreck and Shrew for Wendy City, and it's Track Rack back on the track. Good to see her back out there after getting dinged up in the first half. And she's face-to-face -face with old Dirty Go-Go at the back of the pack. This is Someone's getting called out. 
This is Reckon Shoe's only third appearance this entire game. And Track Rat went down. She almost cleared the pack, but she did go down. So Old Dirty Go-Go going to the penalty box. And it's a three wall versus a three wall. There is no pack. They have to let Track Rat go. Lead Jammer, Kansas City. And she immediately calls it off, which is, I don't think that was the correct move. Was That was Reckon Shoe's initial pass, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was. So a surprise there. Well, I think you know, that was a mental mistake by Track Rat. Things happen all the time. You saw this just uh, last night. Kansas City versus Rose City called off the jam. Six seconds to go. They're still ahead and uh, really gave Rose City a chance it to come back. It did give them a chance, but uh, the, the lead for was... for them, they stayed, they, stayed on, they stayed up for it. But, uh, yeah, you always got to be aware of how many penalties you have, how much time is left on the clock, where your score is at. And just this situational awareness is it's all is just very very important, just as important as athleticism. As we rejoin the action, I think that a crime for Windy City gets lead jammer status. She's contending with. We had a star pass. Jade Lightning just passed, and the pivot lost her pivot cap, so bruise her. It puts the dons the jammer star for Kansas City now. And Varla gets. I mean Athena gets through, calls it off. Four points for Windy City as they. I think. They take the lead here. We got a lead change. Yeah, Windy City ahead for the first time in a long time. I think they not since about how many minutes into it? <laughs> I, I, I don't recall. I don't even know. I've been watching this game. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> huh. All right, both teams, one player in the box. Old Dirty Gogo in the box for Windy City. Annie Mall in the box for Kansas City. Evolution still up here with five trips to the box. She's got to watch that, along with Bork, 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 still sitting at four for Windy City. And we're underway here. Oh, Jackie Daniels for Windy City. Did she get through? She got through. However, she is not going to be your lead jammer. No. So Kansas City still has a chance to get lead jammer status. They only have two blockers out there, two to three. As case closed, contending with the three wall at the front of the pack. Jackie Daniels can score here on this pass. We'll see if... Can case close get lead jammer shares? She does. She calls it off. Did Jackie score? Yes. yes four, four points four for points. Jackie Daniels. Wow. So Jackie Daniels just gets in some points right before case close. Can close the door and call off the jab. Yeah. Kansas City really needs to watch these penalties. They've been they've had players at least two players in the box for the last few jams, and it's really killing them when Windy City is coming from behind here, taking advantage of so few opposing blockers and just kind of weaving through it. Not, enough, not having to kind of scrum through there, not having to fight their way through, but just able to weave around. Once again, two to four in the pack as once again, Windy City able to capitalize. Varla Vendetta nodding as she gets lead jammer status. Yvette, your maker goes to the penalty box for Windy City. As now we got a three wall at the front trying to hold off track rat. She Gets tangled up with Debauchery. Varla Vendetta does score five points. Debauchery's going to the penalty box for getting that tangled up with Track Rat. So it's two on two now. But Windy City still holding that front as he as Evolution tries to break it up. And Annie Mall finally out of the box. So it is three on two. Nice spin move <laughs> <laughs> to get around. Varla Vendetta just gets around. I've heard that described as the creepy octopus as you kind of turn your body around. The blockers. If there were style points, the man, she'd be getting a whole bunch after that one. <laughs> yes, indeed. Maybe we'll see. Uh, I, I have seen Kelly Young do that as well for Kansas City, so maybe she'll do that later. It'll be exciting. As Varla Vendetta calls off the jam, but Whitney City opens up a lead here. 74-57. 74-57 with just over 15 minutes remaining. And we're going to timeout call by Kansas City. They're going to try to, here we see the spin move or just around the inside on one toe stop, oh, stays inbounds. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Doll Clothing, one of a kind uniforms for the modern roller girl and referee. Iron Doll Clothing. I was just over at their booth. They have a, an amazing, amazing amount of just different stuff, different styles of of uh, shirts, of full uniforms, just anything that your little derby heart could want. <laughs> That's at Iron Doll, Iron correct? Doll Clothing. Remember, all these skaters are skating on Atom Wheels. They are the official skate of the, the official wheel of the WFTDA, Atom Wheels. 
All right, we've now got two, again, two Windy City Rollers players sitting at four trips to the box for penalty minutes. That would be Bork, 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 and Deb Autry. Deb Autry in the box right now, along with the Avetcher Maker. She's got three. Varla Vendetta now leads Windy City 27 points. Jackie Daniels with 23. Kelly Young still leads Kansas City, 22. Track Rat with 16. We have a little turn of events here as Windy City has two blockers in the penalty box. We'll see if Kelly Young can take advantage of that. She's up against Athena to Crime jamming for the Windy City Rollers. So it's four on two in the pack. As Georgia on your behind trying to hold off Kelly Young. Now Jackie Daniels is. We got a lead jammer. It's Kelly Young, but Jackie Daniels still trying to hold on. But she's going to have to let her go soon. Outside the engagements, I think she got a penalty there. I wasn't yeah. sure what the call was. Was it a forearm? It was a forearm as we got a jammer rotation in the penalty box. Both blockers, I mean blocker rotation. Both blockers for Windy City go to the penalty box, and the ones in the box come out. So yep, George on your behind and Jackie Daniels sitting pretty in the box right now. Just allowing number four, Kelly Young, to score as many points as humanly possible or roller girly possible. As here comes Kansas City now. Here comes a scoring chance here for Kelly Young as Athena to Crime clears the pack. So this will probably be one scoring pass here for Kelly Young. Deb Autry trying to hold that line as uh, Kansas City is isolated on Yvette, your maker. So they have to let her go. Four points. She calls it off. And that narrows the gap. Only 13 points separate these teams down the stretch. Wow, three just amazing games from three groups of evenly matched teams today. Just this is one of the best day, tournament days I have ever seen. Thus far, it has been spectacular. So far, the one seeds have held all day yesterday. We're going to see a replay here. Kelly Young doing the, the spin move around Deb Autry. We were, I was asking for that earlier. I'm glad <laughs> I got to see it. Yvette your maker jamming for Windy City up against Jade Lightning. Well, we're going to get a little Kansas break City. here. We're going to get a timeout, official timeout on well, I'd the like track. to officially tell you to lose your bruise with Dr. Hauschka's Outshade. Dr. Hauschka is the official WFTDA bruise healer. We had a slight delay there. They were trying to figure out what the fourth, if there was a fourth minor, I believe. And where jam is underway here, you vet your maker against. I didn't see who's, who, who she's against. I should know, but I don't. But you vet your maker roaring towards the front. She's got one blocker to beat. She is your lead jammer for Windy City. I believe that's Jade, that's Jade Lightning. Lightning. That's right. So only two blockers out there for Windy City. As Jade Lightning clears the pack, so it's probably going to be a hit it and quit it situation here for Yvette, your maker. She gets taken out by Bruiser. Nice block by Bruiser. And going around the outside, it allowed Yvette, your maker, to score points. Jade Lightning was roaring around, and she just wiped out on the backstretch. And it looks like Annie Mall has gone in for two minutes. Two minutes on that last one. One of the... One of the uh, Inside pack refs went out there, went to the box and said, hey, just to be sure, just so you know, two. Two. As two. Uh, Windy City extends their lead, trying to maintain it. 17-point game. It's been close the entire match. But Kansas City is going to be down by at least one blocker for at least one jam here. As Evolution comes back onto the track, out of the penalty box, I believe. And we're trying to establish a pack speed here. And Bella Fire is establishing that speed, splitting the pack legally. And oh. Bella Veneta gets right through. Can't she get past Bella Fire? She oh, does, lead wow. jammer. <laughs> Varla Vendetta with lead jammer status for Windy City. As now we see a nice takeout. It's a low block on Sargentina. So it wasn't a nice takeout on case closed. Although the penalty box is full, so Sargentina's got to wait in line. Varla Vendetta tickets pounded by Bruiser. Another nice hit around turn three for Bruiser. I think Bruiser kind of shook. Whoa. And again, Bruiser kind of shook her head there after hitting her, after taking her out. I Case think Bruiser was hit as much as she was. Case Close is scoring. Varla Vendetta is your lead jammer, but Case Close is scoring. And it's four points for Case Close. Varla Vendetta didn't call it off. A little surprising there from the veteran in her seventh season. 
but maybe she's just trying to rely on her defense, and now she's going to call it off. So she got four points as well, so that's an even jam maintaining the 17-point game. 11 minutes, 10 seconds remaining in this game. Once again, Windy City leads 82 to 65. Derbyville for all things Derby because that's how we roll. You can shop here in Denver or online at Derbyville. We see number 24 versus number four. We got Reckon True for Windy City against Kelly Young as we see the picket fence of Windy City right now kneeling in front of the jammer line, the Dr. Hauschka jammer line. And they ride Kelly Young out of bounds, but she's quick to recover. Reckon True got taken out as well. A little slower to recover, but both jammers now grinding through the pack. But Kelly Young's got a little, a little zip now in her step. Oh, looks power like we've jam. got a power jam situation for Kansas City. Reckon True went to the penalty box. I didn't see the call. However, this is a big opportunity here for Kansas City. Jackie Daniels and your veteran maker trying to hold that line. Kansas City isolating on Bork, 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 Bork trying to get towards the front. Kelly Young, can she clear? She's getting, oh, oh, jammer takedown by Jackie Daniels. That's and just some great teamwork at the front there. Blocked just, the face on Who's Your Mama? Just a whole bunch of just recycling, but with only two players at the front just playing as well as a full, or full wall up there, just recycling each other very, very quickly and nice, nice, solid hits. A very hard-fought lead jammer status for Kelly Young. It took about 50 seconds to get that lead jammer status. Sargentina at the back. Kelly Young able to get past her quite easily. And we seeing a whistle being blown. One blocker to beat. Jackie Daniels, she was going to the penalty box. So five-point grand slam, 12-point game here. Kelly Young going for more. Only two blockers out there for Windy City. And it stopped. Minivan situation. Bork. But no more. <laughs> Bork, Bork, Bork with a nice block there. And Kelly Young calls it off as yep. five more points. Just as Reckon True comes out of the box. So let's take a look at that scoreboard now. 82, 75, nine Seven minutes remain. Game. Wow. <laughs> Wow, ladies and gentlemen, watching at home on the WFTDA high-quality stream, you are in, you are watching a treat here. Let's see this this shot, Bork, Bork, Bork set her up, and Jackie Daniels hit her. I guess was it a back block? I do believe. As Kelly Young got turned around, and looks like we're about ready to go here. Actually, the jam has started slowly as we establish pack speed. Yvette, your maker against Jade Lightning for Kansas City. Jade Lightning's got a little run on the outside. She's got it. Lead jammer Jade Lightning for Kansas City, only down seven. And Who's Your Mama comes back into the pack here for Windy City. Jade Lightning lost it around turn two. She lost it a couple jams ago on the back stretch, but she's back up. Lost a little speed there. Gave you vet your maker a little more time. She's still trying to get through, and she does. So it looks like this is going to be a, a hit it and quit it here. Who's your mama? The one blocker out there. Jay Lightning gets through, calls it off. So they get four. So now the gap narrows even more. Three-point game. And just at the end there, tough noogies came back in for Kansas City. So Kansas City is going to be operating at full pack strength. Jackie Daniels and Sargentina both still sitting in the box. which means They, ha they both have more than 10 seconds remaining in the box. So the advantage here for Kansas City, Case Close going to try to keep the momentum here. She's going to go against Varla Vendetta, the superstar for Windy City. 82-79, three-point game. Varla playing defense as a jammer. That Case Close gets through, and Varla Vendetta, get, I thought she got through, but she got knocked to the infield. So here comes Case Close in Kansas City. They have a chance to retake the lead here as Annie Mall goes to the penalty box for Kansas City. Varla Vendetta trying to not cut the track and through the pack on a scoring pass. Gogo going to the box. Four points, got a lead change. Kansas City retakes the lead. Old Dirty Gogo going to the penalty box for Windy City. Varla Vendetta clears the pack. Only one blocker out there now for Windy City. It's Bork, Bork, Bork all alone against three blockers. Misses on Kansas City's. Case closed, more points, four points. Kansas City takes the lead. 87 to 82, a five point game. Old Dirty Gogo hits the box just as Sargentina's time was expiring. So that was, a, uh, if you can call it a lucky break, that she didn't have to go back and skate. 
continue on until she was until Sargentina was out. Sargentina's up, so that means Windy City is going to have two players in the box. Annie Mall, she's sitting at six. We're seeing Case Close colliding here with Old Dirty Gogo. The hit from Old Dirty Gogo, I think that sent Old Dirty Gogo to the penalty box. We'd like to say hello to all our viewers in the UK. Apparently, we have a few of them watching on WFTDA.com as well as Naples, Italy. Hello from across the pond to you. Thanks I've, for tuning in. I've heard of Italy. I've heard of that place it's too. It's a mystical land far across the sea. That's where my Vespa comes from, actually. <laughs> <laughs> a land full of Vespas. From Genoa. Not from, uh, yeah. And now they'll probably tune out because we're making fun of them. <laughs> no, I have, a, I have a 45 year old Vespa. Come on, of course. I'm supporting your country. Rydell Skates is a proud partner and official skate of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association, Rydell Skates. And we're about ready to go here again. Kelly Young, a.k.a. Snot Rocket, going to try and keep things going here. She's going to be against Yvette, your maker. Kansas City has had the momentum here down the stretch. Penalty problems for Windy City. It's been a regular thing for them all year long. And Kelly Young's got a little bit of momentum here. Can she get a little run? Nice blocking by Kansas City. Kelly Young gets through. She is your lead jammer. Both Annie Mall and Evolution are sitting at six penalties. One more and they either for either of them, and they're going to be out of this game. And so here comes Kelly Young. It looks like she's going to get one scoring pass. Who's your mama? The last line of defense. She does the spin move around and gets a hug from Who's your mama? Jackie Daniels also sitting at six penalties. So, wow, they're going to have to be very, very careful here. That skill from Kelly Young to just do those spin moves where you connect with the blocker and then step around them and turn your back, and then you're, you're basically skidding backwards as you're scoring that last point. Looks like some sort of dance training involved here. A lot of skaters, a lot of skaters come from an, uh, a lot of dance background, giving them kind of a light on their feet, or maybe uh, figure skating is always a, an excellent way to get this kind of uh, agility that is necessary in roller derby. You don't think necessarily of, of, of ballet and figure skating as being good for roller derby, but it totally is. Kansas City with the lead and lead jammer status down the stretch. Time winding now. We're at the five minute mark as Kansas City once again gets lead jammer status. They've had the momentum down the stretch. They're trying to extend their lead here. They have nine point lead right now and more. She calls it off after scoring four more points. Penalty issues abound for Windy City. Things look good here for Kansas City. Tori Adore just headed to the box. She joins Who's Your Mama. Windy City's pivot in the box. Four trips for Who's Your Mama, three for Tori Ador. Once again, Jackie Daniels sitting at six, Annie Mall at six, and Evolution at six. So it's a 13-point game right now, four minutes. We're going to see a replay here, the hug. It's some derby love from Who's Your Mama and Kelly Young. <laughs> I just passed you, but we're still connected. <laughs> four minutes, 27 seconds remaining. Looks like we have an official timeout coming down the home stretch here. That gives it gives me a little time to breathe. <laughs> we do need that right now. The wolf pack howling in the crowd right now here at the First Bank Center in Broomfield, Colorado. Now, of course, that's Erin Hyman's watching in Napoli. She is saying that uh, she's enjoying Italy, <laughs> Naples, Italy raw pavement derby girls and real pizza in Napoli, Italia. She doesn't believe in American pizza, apparently. Well, actually, after, you, after you've had some real Italian pizza, you will not go back to American pizza. It's amazing. They overturned a destruction penalty on, on Windy City as another lead jammer for Kansas City. Looking very strong here down the stretch. Case closed, in control here. Just capitalizing on these Windy City penalty problems that they've been having. So here's a scoring pass, and more importantly, clock winding down. Navarro Mendetta does clear, so it's going to be a one pass, but both blockers for Windy City get called to the penalty box, both of them. And Jackie Daniels has to wait in, wait in line now to go to the penalty box. Case close, calls it off. After picking up a grand slam. Wow. They, Kansas, Kansas City pulling ahead here with just under four minutes to go. Windy City at 82, Kansas at 100. They've just gotten the century mark. 
Windy City can't re has having trouble regrouping from these penalty issues here. As soon as they get blockers back out of the box, two more go and go join that penalty box. So we've got Yvette, your maker out there, trying to get things back on track for Windy City, and Kelly Young trying to ride the wave. But we're going to have an official timeout first. And, of course, mad props, as the kids say these days, to our officials, both skating and non-skating officials. Always want to make sure, especially near the end of a very close game, a very hard-fought game, that they have the points right, that they have the time right, that, that they have the penalties right, because all of this can come into effect very, very close at the end of this game here. So it's going to be three against two in the pack here when we rejoin the action. We're trying Bruise to lose her in the box for Kansas. Who's your mama and Sargentina in the box for Windy City? Kelly Young jamming for Kansas City again in the black and red, going up against Yvette Maker for Windy City. Stick around after this. We're going to see Philadelphia versus the Ole Rollers in our next matchup in our quarterfinal matchup. It looks like Jackie Daniels has fouled out of the game. That the was her seventh mi penalty minute, so she is out of here. She has to go back to the Windy City locker room. Cannot even cheer on her team from, from out, out here. That is a big loss from Windy City. They, they typically lean on her heavy at the end of a match. Yeah, a few years ago, after that amazing showing at North Central Regionals in, uh, in St. Paul, you had a lot of these Windy City players, these longtime Windy City All-Stars, just leave, uh, leave the team, it's retire, true. or just go back to home teams. Ja the addition of Jackie Daniels coming down from Grand Raggedy was a big, big help for the Windy City Rollers. It was. She was the league MVP last year, and I, I, I get the feeling she's going to probably get the league MVP again this year as uh, they hope this is not their last game of the year as Kansas City looking to end their season in just three minutes and 20 seconds as Kelly Young trying to ride the wave here of the Wolf Pack. And the jam is underway slowly. Kelly Young playing a little defense. Juke move again. Kansas City gets lead jammer status. Kelly Young in control here. The event your maker trying to get through the pack. Nice block by Annie Mall. And it's a penalty on Annie Mall. Well, the most important thing right now, Kelly Young is killing clock. She's going to probably get one more pass. Only one blocker out there for Windy City. Been a regular problem here. They, they don't have any blockers out there. Kelly Young. Just getting by Who's Your Mama. Who's Your Mama set up for a nice hit, but just slightly missed it. Four points, extending that lead. Clawing away. Definitely taking control down the stretch here. Mostly just killing clock at this point. The event your maker trying to catch up to the pack. And Kelly Young looks like she's going to rely on her defense here, kill as much time as she possibly can. And she does. It, it worked out for her. She, got, she gained a pass. Even though you your maker was on a scoring pass, Kelly Young was able to get through. And it looks like Annie Mall has fouled out of the game for Kansas City. Two, two, two foul outs. Deb Autry back in for, Can for Windy City. Kansas City now sitting at four skaters out there. One jam or three blockers because of Annie Mall's fallout. They're not going to get a chance to get another blocker out until the next jam. Kelly Young taking a pounding, but most importantly, killing clock. As you bet your maker finally gets through on her first scoring pass. She's not looking real quick. As time winding down in this jam. Kelly Young, is she going? Yeah, she just... She was taken off the jammer cap before the jam even ended. But <laughs> three more points for Kansas City. Timeout called by Windy City trying to regroup as Kansas City has taken a quite a good lead there. 22 points. I think are we going to see more points awarded? Or they're all up on the board. 22-point lead here for Kansas City. She's looking to advance to the semifinal round. A good day here for the South Central region. Texas has advanced earlier today. They beat Minnesota. 
And now Kansas City trying to put the nail in the coffin here against Windy City. Just a minute 13 left. Case closed, gonna try to bring it home now for the Kansas City Roller Warriors. Varla Vendetta gonna try to be the hero for Windy City. And we're still in timeout, however. I'm ready to go. I wanna see this jam. <laughs> it's exciting. Has Bru who has fouled out there? No? Someone in Brazil is watching. Hello, Brazil. Brazil. I hope you can understand us. They speak Portuguese. And we're about ready to go here. I only know two words in Portuguese, and that's cabeça and dinosolo. That means head dinosaur. <laughs> I'm sure our fans from Brazil will enjoy that as we are. So we got one more point awarded to Kansas City there. So 112 to 86. Varla Vendetta gets lead. No, she gets through the pack. However, she's not lead jammer status. So I would expect this will likely be the last jam. I don't think Kansas City is going to call it off, even if they do get lead jammer status. Windy City making it interesting here. Oh, keeping her back. Picks up the five points. Picks up the grand slam at the end here. Case closed. Still has not made it through the pack. And then she gets lead jammer now, status. There she goes. She started. She almost called it off, but wow. she, she thought about it. She stopped herself. She can run the clock out here. Varla Vendetta is going to do everything she can, but it's not going to be enough. Kansas City is going to bring it home here and advance to the semifinal round. You see Case Close looking up at the ribbon around the, the stadium here at the, the game clock, just taking it easy. The Kansas City Roller Warriors from Kansas City, Missouri, are going to advance. Case Close is staring at that jam clock. And we're down to the last second. Case Close calls it off, closing the door on Windy City's hopes. And that means Kansas City is now, 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 one of the top four teams in the, the world. Wow. A great like last 10 minutes there for Kansas City down the stretch they really took control got lead jammer status Windy City could not stay out of the penalty box and Kansas City takes it we've seen a lot of come from behind either victories or uh, attempts at victories just an excellent excellent job from all these teams Pelvis Costello here for the WFTDA's 2011 Championships. I am here with Eclipse of the Kansas City Roller Warriors, now two for two yes. in this after your defeat yes. of Windy City. Eclipse, you have now defeated Windy City, who came in with a bye basically to the second right. day, right. holding on to them through that entire first period and then bringing it home in that, in that second half. Tell me, what were your thoughts coming um, in on that? Well, uh, I got handed to Windy City um, when I was a wee babe in roller derby. They handed me a quite a loss in 2008. Um, so it uh, feels good to be on the other side of that, but they, they are part of who taught me. I look up to those ladies. They're hard workers, always on top of their game. Definitely a second half team. They totally fought back, took the lead, scared us a little, but we have really been working on remaining calm during tight situations, not losing our minds. And uh, I think that showed. We fought back, took back the lead, and then controlled it there at the end. Definitely this was a case of cool heads prevailing. I was asking you guys yesterday, you know, what's the strategy? You and Bruiser, we ain't telling you. <laughs> you just let the action speak for themselves. Yes. And now you are doing it again. What can we expect that you can reveal coming up on this next semifinal game? Uh, more of the same. If they're gonna, if jammers are gonna open up themselves, uh, we're gonna take it every time. Um, we've got a hell of a giant jammer lineup, so uh, just more of the same. Uh, fixing the little things, more of the same. More of the same. Yes. It's still your game. <laughs> yes. Nothing to blame. That is right. Eclipse. Mm -hmm. Just totally eclipsing them all right now. Kansas City definitely. I have, help. I have definite help. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Great scoring. Folks, keep watching the WFTDA championships. So Continental Divide and yes. Conquer. Kansas City, you'll be seeing them again, and we're going to send it and pay the bills. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm Desi Creation, and I'm joined with Jackie Daniels of the Windy City Rollers. Now, Jackie, not only are you an amazingly talented skater, you're the second high point scorer for the Windy City today, but you also really carry the heart for the team. 
Today, though, you left the game early with seven penalties. Can you tell us how that affected both you and the team? Um, unfortunately, unfortunately uh, I did fall out. Um, I kind of, we knew it was coming. I had a couple procedural majors in the early. I've never even probably got half that many, uh, been half that close in a game, so I'm really not proud of myself. And uh, I know I'm, you know, I try to uh, keep the keep the team on track on the bench, but I had enough warning to kind of like talk to um, my jammers and my bench, and I was like, I'm going to get ejected. I'm always calm <laughs> when faced with a lot of stress, so I was kind of able to prepare the team and be like, I'm about to get ejected. Here's what we're gonna do. Please, please do the best, you know, like, I know you can do it. Do what you can. So you did the level-headed, I'm handing you the heart. You're going to carry it for the team now, for the rest of the team. Yeah. yeah. Wonderfully done. Now that said, this was your first game of the tournament. There, is there something to it that, you know, is there an advantage to having the bye versus having a game under your belt coming into the second round? Or is it maybe a, a, an advantage for both? Um, I think I think there might be an advantage to both. I mean, certainly Windy City's had a lot of games where we've just continued to gel as the weekend goes on. And the teamwork just gets better the more we're on the floor together. But, you know, at the altitude here, um, you, you never can't tell. Like me, certainly, I wasn't tired at all, and I didn't feel like it had affected me whatsoever, and I have asthma. It felt a little bit drier, but I felt okay. Um, and the rest of my team, though, I could see some of the Kansas City uh, skaters after taking hit after hit at some of their jammers seemed a little bit winded. They seemed tired, but I had moments where I saw that in our own jammers as well. So, so I think it's just a level of how many times you've hit the floor and, you know, if you just can't get anywhere. So, so it's, it's hard to say. It's probably one and the same. Absolutely, and I can see our argument for it either way. Speaking of the altitude, I've been asking this question around because teams have done some crazy things to prepare to play at a mile high. Can you tell me how Windy City prepared for the, the little thin air up here? Huh. Yeah, I can. We've done it. We've done a, 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 some things. There's been a little bit of back and forth of like, how much should you do? You know, should you do all this crazy stuff? But we certainly did spend some time. We thought, well, it can't hurt. So we were all in backpacks. Uh, we practice on the second floor of a building, and there's pretty high ceilings. So we were running up and down stairs with backpacks um, full of weights, breathing through straws. So that was interesting. And then another day, we were um, we were doing uh, uh, sprints, <laughs> doing uh, suicide sprints with water in our mouths. So we had a huge spit bucket at the end, and you had to do all this running back and forth, holding the water in your mouth and not swallowing it. So you were just breathing through your nose. And so we had this gigantic spit bucket, <laughs> which was so lovely. So you're telling me that there's your own version of waterboarding going on in Chicago. Absolutely. <laughs> Anything for the game. There you have it, Jackie Daniels with the Windy City Rollers. Wonderful job today, and we look forward to seeing you in 2012. Thanks. Thank you.